John Bannister Goodenough born the 25th of July 1922 in Jena, Germany, is a German-born American professor and solid-state physicist. He is currently a professor of mechanical engineering and materials science at the University of Texas at Austin. He is widely credited for the identification and development of the Li-ion rechargeable battery as well as for developing the goodenough kanamori rules for determining the sign of the magnetic superexchange in materials. In 2014, he received the Charles Stark Draper Prize for his contributions to the lithium-ion battery. Education <inaudible> 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 Goodenough attended boarding school at Groton School before receiving a B.S. in mathematics, summa cum laude, from Yale University in 1944, where he was a member of Skull and Bones. After serving in the U.S. Army as a meteorologist in World War II, he returned to complete a Ph.D. in physics under the supervision of Clarence Zener at the University of Chicago in 1952. Topic: Early career at Lincoln Laboratory. During his early career, he was a research scientist at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory. During this time he was part of an interdisciplinary team responsible for developing random access magnetic memory. His research efforts on RAM led him to develop the concepts of cooperative orbital ordering, also known as a cooperative Jan Teller distortion, in oxide materials, and subsequently led to his developing the rules for the sign of the magnetic superexchange in materials, now known as the goodenough kanamori rules. Topic. Tenure at the University of Oxford During the late 1970s and early 1980s, he continued his career as head of the Inorganic Chemistry Laboratory at University of Oxford, where he identified and developed LixQ2 as the cathode material of choice for the Li-ion rechargeable battery that is now ubiquitous in today's portable electronic devices. Although Sony is responsible for the commercialization of the technology, he is widely credited for its original identification and development. He received the Japan Prize in 2001 for his discoveries of the materials critical to the development of lightweight rechargeable batteries. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Professorship at the University of Texas at Austin. Since 1986, he has been a professor at the University of Texas at Austin in the Cockrell School of Engineering Departments of Mechanical Engineering and Electrical Engineering. During his tenure there, he has continued his research on ionic conducting solids and electrochemical devices. His group has identified LixFEPO4 as a less costly cathode material that is safe for power applications such as machine tools and hybrid electric vehicles. His group has also identified various promising electrode and electrolyte materials for solid oxide fuel cells. He currently holds the Virginia H. Cockrell Centennial Chair in Engineering. Goodenough still works at the university at age 96, hoping to find another breakthrough in battery technology. On February 28, 2017, Goodenough and his team at the University of Texas published a paper in the journal Energy and Environmental Science on their demonstration of a low cost all solid state battery that is non combustible and has a long cycle life with a high volumetric energy density, and fast rates of charge and discharge. Instead of liquid electrolytes, the battery uses glass electrolytes that enable the use of an alkali metal anode without the formation of dendrites. Goodenough and colleague Maria Helena Braga hold a patent via University of Texas for solid-state electrolytes and they continue to advance battery-related research, working on several more patents. Topic. Fundamental investigations throughout his career On the fundamental side, his research has focused on magnetism e.g. the goodenough kanamori rules and on the transition from magnetic insulator to metallic behavior in transition metal oxides. On the basis of the virial theorem, he recognized that this transition should be first order and should, where the phase transition occurs at too low a temperature for atomic diffusion, result in lattice instabilities. At this crossover, these instabilities led to charge density waves in single valent oxides and to phase fluctuations in mixed valent oxides. The phase fluctuations are responsible for such unusual physical properties as high temperature superconductivity in copper oxides and a colossal magnetoresistance in manganese and cobalt oxides. 
He also recently helped develop the glass battery, a developmental battery with a glass electrolyte that is claimed to exceed current lithium-ion batteries in energy density, operating temperature range, and safety. Topic. Distinctions Professor Goodenough is a member of the National Academy of Engineering, the National Academy of Sciences, French Academy of Sciences, and the Real Academia de Ciencias Exactas, Physicas y Naturales of Spain. He has authored more than 550 articles, 85 book chapters and reviews, and five books, including two seminal works, Magnetism and the Chemical Bond 1963 and Les Oxidas des Mito de Transition 1973. Goodenough is a co-recipient of the 2009 Enrico Fermi Award. This presidential award is one of the oldest and most prestigious given by the U.S. government and carries an honorarium of $375,000. He shares the honor with Dr. Siegfried S. Hecker, professor at the Management Science and Engineering Department of Stanford University. In 2010 he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society. On February 1, 2013, Goodenough was presented with the National Medal of Science. In 2015 he was listed along with M. Stanley Whittingham, for pioneering research leading to the development of the lithium-ion battery on a list of Clarivate Citation Laureates for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry by Thomson Reuters. In 2017 he received the Welch Award in Chemistry. The Royal Society of Chemistry grants a John B. Goodenough Award in his honor. Goodenough received an honorary C.K. Prahalit Award from Corporate Ecoforum CEF in 2017. CEF's founder Rangaswamy commented, John Goodenough is evidence of imagination being put to work for the greater good. We're thrilled to recognize his lifetime of achievements and are hopeful that his latest discovery will have major implications for the future of sustainable battery storage. Topic. Works Topic. Articles Topic Books Topic Notes Topic Further reading Topic External links Faculty Directory at University of Texas at Austin Array of Contemporary American Physicists History of the Lithium-Ion Battery, Physics Today, Sept. 2016 One-hour interview with Goodenough on YouTube by the Electrochemical Society, 2016